Hello Aquarius and welcome to Healing Dove Tarot. Aquarius, it's a quick three card spread for your week ahead, one card for your mind, body and soul. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aquarius. Please show me what they need to hear, know what they want to hear for their week ahead. Thank you Spirit. Can I please have three more cards? One of the most important messages for the sign of Aquarius. There you go, Aquarius. Your cards are coming out fast. Woo! Emotionally walking away from a previous connection so you can open yourself up to something new. Finally seeing clearly what it is that you want. Putting a plan in place so that you can go after what you want. Aquarius, strong energy. Strong, strong energy. Okay, really beautiful. Um, you're coming into this week with the Ace of Pentacles. So for me, that's like a brand new beginning in finances, actually wanting to start something new, something new that you'd like to begin. What's beautiful is that I see you finally reach this point where um, spiritually you're like leveling up. Okay, what do I mean by that? You start off the week, the 11th of July, with the Eight of Cups, emotionally moving away from something that no longer serves you moving towards something that's going to be more fulfilling for you from a higher point. You have the Eight of Cups coupled with the Six of Cups. For some of you, it could have been ending a relationship or ending a connection and needing to move forward in that regard. Um, the Ace of Pentacles here is telling you that whatever it is that you're about to start that's new, it looks like it's going to be really strong for you. For some of you, this could represent a new love interest. And for those that are new to my channel, I am going to delve deeper and do a love spread for you. Um, that'll be part of the extended reading, which you can click on the link below in my bio. Um, but for most of you, what I see is moving away from a connection, someone that you'd been with for quite some time, six years, maybe seven years, um, and finally letting go so that you can come through new, renewed. You have the Eight of Swords here coming up as a trump card, and it's showing finally getting the clarity and seeking the answers that you need, finally being able to see what you need to move forward. The Ace of Swords comes in to show us what we need um, to let go of and also what we need to bring into our life. The Four of Pentacles is here to show you that um, finances are important this week. I feel like if you're investing into a new project, you're putting in money but not seeing the rewards, don't worry, that will come. Um, the money will come, okay? healing after heartbreak after being knifed in the back really letting go of that toxic energy all in all it's a good week it's just a week focused on your new projects of what you're building you have side projects you have money going out money coming in um, not really holding on to money but it's not about that this week it's all about getting very clear on what it is that you want to create in this world what it is that you want to bring in can i have an additional guidance card please thank you <laughs> Your message for this week is asking you to be caffeine free when it comes to health. So if you drink too much coffee, if you consume too many caffeine products, if you drink too much V, then the message here is very clear. Um, step back, <laughs> take a little bit of a detox. Um, if you have three or four a day, try and limit yourself to one. It's very clear. Um, and if you drink a lot of um, Coke and soft drink, then it's asking you to reduce that. Additional guidance card for love, please. What's the love message for Aquarius this week? Two of Cups. Like I said, new love energy. There is someone you have your eye on. And the reason why you have your eye on that is because you're letting go of a past hurt. There's someone in your scope that you want to build a new connection with. Um, Two of Cups speaks about a meeting of minds. This is soulmate energy. Often someone that can come in that can actually bring for you new love Aquarius. Someone that can come in and actually... Um, give you something that's stable. I'm going to read this to you from the book. All right, my loves. Two of Cups. This is beautiful. This is what everyone wants to get in a love reading. This is showing new energy coming in. Let me read it to you as soon as I can find it. Harmony, romance, healing and commitment. This is a card of partnership and harmony. It suggests a new romance or a deepening of an existing one for those that are in couples. You may find that a current friendship blossoms into something more or an exciting new love steps into your life. When this card appears, it often signifies taking love to the next level. Is it time for you to make a greater commitment to any of your relationships? Perhaps you'll find that a new partner is now ready to commit more fully to the connection. 
Um, marriage or a union of deep commitment of some kind may be on the horizon. This is also a card of healing, of people coming together in the spirit of love and forgiveness. That's what I was saying before about healing, right? With this Ten of Swords, that being knifed in the back, actually needing to heal that energy so that you can move forward. Um, are you involved in any relationships where misunderstandings um, or disputes have taken place and there's distance between you? If so, perhaps it's time to bring harmony back to those relationships by calling a truce and starting over again. So it's asking you to find the balance, okay? If it is moving on from someone that you had a connection with, a relationship or a marriage, then the, the answer here is it's wave the white flag, right? Try and, try and bury the hatchet and move forward. Not always easy to do, especially when there's a lot of emotions involved and for some of you children, but it's asking you that if you can do that, you can draw in new love. And for those that are single, it looks like even if you're trying to avoid it, there's a love connection here, a friendship that's actually going to blossom into something more. Additional guidance card for finances for Aquarius. Please show me what they need to hear. What's the most important message for them? Thank you, Spirit. Please show me. There it is deep knowing okay okay so this speaks about um, intuition trusting your gut when it comes to your money and your finances and it says very clearly it's a time when your hunches will pay large dividends so it's about taking a risk but doing so with action okay um, the important thing here is it's asking you to um, listen to your higher consciousness, listen to your gut feeling. You know what's right for you. You know where to invest your money. If something seems like it's too good to be true, like a get rich uh, quick scheme, then it is. Okay. All you need to know is that in order to move forward, in order to have success, you just need to choose a path. You need to decide if there is a project that you're investing your time and money into, then this is asking you to stick with that. Okay. Listen intently, listen with your mind, body, and soul. All right, my loves, that was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know. If you would like some more information on an extended love reading, please click in my bio below. There'll be a link. I'm going to do that extended love reading for you now and delve more into this two of cups, this new energy that's coming in for you. All right. I wish you much love and light for the week ahead. Take care.